What is going on lads and welcome to another one of my hybrid squad builders. Just before we get into it I'm just going to give a quick mention to FIFA coin traders. The link is down in the description and if you're looking for some coins go and check them out. They're really reliable and quick at getting you your coins. So now we're going to get into the team and it is going to be a Podolski hybrid. It is the informed Podolski. He's the main player in this squad. However there's a lot of other good players in it too but we've gone with the Podolski hybrid title just because he's the most expensive and sort of the standout player that everyone is interested in. So you can see it's in 4-3-2-1. I've never really used this formation before so I thought I'd give it a crack. So I'll just change the formation to that and throw the first player in and that is going to be Chesney. So he's a really solid goalkeeper but as I do with all of my squad builders I'll just run through the team, show you a couple of the stats and then we'll talk about the players individually during the goal. So you see he's got 84 diving and 83 reflexes so he's a pretty solid keeper and he is non-rare so he's really cheap. I think he cost me 700 coins so that is not too bad at all. At the first centre back we have got Koscielny. Getting a strong link to Chesney, so making sure Chesney gets that 9 Kemp when we throw in the second of the centre-backs, which is Mangala. The pair of them are really quick, 79 and 74 pace, and they've both got decent defending and heading, 77 and 80, and 81 and 81 respectively. Lining up at left-back, we have got Inform Alex Santos. This guy is an extremely good player. He's only 77 rated and he isn't in form. He only costs 15k, but he is really solid. He's excellent at defending and he's just a really solid left back. You don't see him going disappearing up the pitch like with some of the left backs and leaving your defence open. He's just really solid and helps you keep them clean sheets. At right back, we have got the absolute pace demon, that is Pishjack. He's got 86 pace and 80 defending, but he feels so much faster than that 86 pace. It's absolutely, un absolutely unreal how quick he is. Lining up in centre mid, we're getting a strong link to Pishjack first with Gundogan, who is one of my favourite players in this team. He's very all-rounded, but he's really good at going forward. He's got pace, dribbling and shooting, as well as some decent passing and reasonable defending stats. So he is a really solid player. He cost me 950 coins as well, which is just absolutely unreal. He's so good. Getting another strong link to Koscielny is Diaby. He also gets a link to Mangala, which is good, so he helps get the chem up there. Diaby, again, is a non-rare who's pretty cheap, 500 coins, and he's so OP in this game, and he's so all-rounded. Every stat's over 70, and he's got 82 dribbling, 79 pace. He's just an absolute tank. I'm not too sure how tall he is. He's six foot two. There you go. He's absolutely huge, and he's just a powerhouse. He's so good in the centre of midfield. Completing the midfield, we have got Informed Jao Moutinho, getting two solid links, making a nice little triangle with Mangala and Alexandro, Alexandro, nearly forgot his name there. Um, so again, Moutinho, 35k, pretty good player. He's very all round. He's got all, over 17 everything, almost 80 and everything. So he's a really good all round player. He didn't score too many goals, which I was hoping he would do with a 78 shooting, but he is a pretty good player and he's a nice little playmaker. Obviously, by the title of this video, you will know that we have got Podolski, so we're going to throw him in there at left forward, and you can just see some of his stats. 88 pace, he feels so much quicker than that, and he's so strong as well. He's got 89 shooting, he's got 82 dribbling, which is really good. His passing's pretty good. Obviously, his defending stats are going to be a bit shit, but that doesn't matter because he's playing left forward. And all in all, he's just an absolute tank of a player. He's really quick, really strong, and an absolute powerhouse up front. Lining up at striker next to him and getting the German link is Marco Royce. I hope I've said his name right. Pretty sure I have. Absolute pace demon. Rocket of a shot. Not much more you can say there. Just through ball it and sprint and hammer it into the goal and you will score. Finally, rounding off the team is second in form, Blazikowski. Fastest player in the team. 94 pace. He is absolutely lightning quick. It is unreal how fast he is and his shot is like an absolute thunder. Is absolute thunder. What the fuck am I saying? His shot is like an absolute rocket. It just thunders off his boot. It's so good and so powerful. Near post OP with this guy is just absolutely unreal. So that's the team, lads. We're now going to move into some goals and I'll discuss the squad a little bit more, let you know the strengths, weaknesses, which players you should be picking up, and how I found using this squad. So, we've got some clips going on in the background now, and the first thing I'm going to say is I had never used 4-3-2-1 before when I started using this team, and I really didn't like it at all. I couldn't use it. I just couldn't score any goals. The defending was fine because it's a really solid defence. Koscielny, Alexandro, Mangala and Piszczek are really good at the back, and Chesney for an 80-rated keeper is OP as fuck. So, all in all, the defence was really solid, and I was keeping quite a few clean sheets. I just couldn't get the goals up front. Because P um, Podolski and... Blazikowski are on the opposite foot if you know what I mean they can't cut in and hit it and have a shot at goal they've got to use the weak foot if they do I tried clicking switch wings and changing them to the opposite side so Podolski could come in on his left foot and have a shot and Blazikowski could come in on his right but because right it's right and left forward rather than right and left wing apparently that's not what they're not on the wing so they don't switch at all 
What it did instead was switch Piszczek and Alexandro, which was a massive pain in the ass. So I was still struggling to score goals. So what I did was go into the team management at the start of each game and change the formation to 4-3-3. I didn't switch, swap the players over at this point. I kept um, Podolski on left wing and Belazhikovsky on the right wing. And it worked like an absolute dream. I, I didn't need to switch them to cut in. You could just run down the wing as they were a little bit wider and just use that near post OP as both of them have got absolutely unreal shot power. You can see it there from Podolski. It's just absolutely mental how hard he kicks the ball. It's the, exactly the same for Blazikovsky as well. So when I switched it to 4-3-3, it was an absolute deadly strike force and one of the, my favourite strike forces on the team to use. You can see Gunzagon again with a bit of near post OP. Gunzagon is one of my favourite players in this team. Apart from Podolski and Blazikovsky, which you'd expect to be the favourites, Gunzagon is an absolute tank. He's such an all-rounder player and just so good at getting forward. I absolutely loved him. Jal Moutinho, in form, didn't do much. He was a decent player in the middle and he did only cost 35k. So you can't really expect too much from a 35k in form. At 85, I was expecting him to be worth a lot more, but he's not. And he sort of did the job, but he wasn't too bad. Like I said, the defence was OP as fuck. Alexandro, go and pick this guy up. He's absolutely unreal and he's almost discard value. One of my favourite left backs that I've used so far. Apart from that, lads, it's just an absolutely tank OP team, really. Loads of the players are so good. If you are going to build it, try and work it so that you can build it in 4-3-3. If not, I would recommend going into team management and switching it to 4-3-3 straight away because it just seemed to work so much better for me. I wasn't enjoying it at all, the 4-3-2-1. And as soon as I changed, I just started absolutely annihilating people like... All of these clips basically are from when I was winning, when I was playing 4-3-3. That nice little dribble in there from Podolski is one of his strengths. I was surprised about how good his dribbling is, to be honest. He's got 82 dribbling. He's got really fast, strong, massive shot power. So I was expecting more of a powerhouse, and he could only run in straight lines, but his dribbling's actually really intricate. He has only got three-star skills, which is a bit of a letdown, but you can see here going on a nice little skill run. The outside of the boot, oh my god, what a godly finish that was. So he's an absolutely brilliant player, and go and pick him up. I really enjoyed using him. Like, I've used Neymar in a hybrid with a BPL team, and put some Brazilian players behind him to make sure he got the 9 chem. But in future, I'd probably go and pick up Podolski instead, instead, as he was much more fun to use, and he links into the team a lot better. So that's just going to be the end of this video now, lads. I hope you've enjoyed it. Really go and pick out this squad. I absolutely loved playing it when I changed the formation on it. It's absolutely godly, and some of the players in it, you just wouldn't expect them to be that good. Like, again, guns are gone there. Absolute top quality player. So, as I was saying, this is the end of the video. So, if you have enjoyed it, do be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Go and check out FIFA Coin Traders in the description. Thanks for watching, lads, and I will see you next time.